Hey, welcome to another episode of GeekOutdoors.com. So in today's DaVinci Resolve tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how you can actually change your voice. So whether or not you want it to have a really high-pitched, energetic voice, or maybe you want it to go really down low and have a much deeper, slower voice, or finally, maybe you just want something a little bit different, a little bit weird. Well, you could do all of that in DaVinci Resolve. So let's go ahead and head over to the editor to see how we can do this. Okay, so now we're here in DaVinci Resolve and as you can see, I have my clip along with my audio track. Now I'm gonna show you like the simple ways to do this. Now if you wanted to do more advanced audio editing, you could always go to Fairlight and you could do the same thing here, but I'm gonna show you how to do it on the edit page because I think that's easier and quicker if you just wanted to do really fast voice changes. And so if we go here and we just play this, hey, welcome to another episode of geekoutdoors.com. Everything sounds normal. So the first thing you wanna do is choose the spots where you actually want to change your voice. And so right here, so whether or not you want to have a really high pitch, energetic voice. So that's the first thing. I want to go high pitch. I wanna change this to where this part's gonna be the high pitch. So we'll go ahead and choose this part and you'll go ahead and do a cut right here. Okay, right there. And then let's go to have a really high pitch. So that's the first one. Or maybe you want it to. And then this one is gonna be like my second part with my low voice. You want it to go really down low and have that much deeper, slower voice. And then we have one more. Or finally, and this is, maybe you just want something a little bit different, a little bit weird. Now, once you go ahead and separate your clips into the ones that you want, you can also rename these clips as well, now that they're separate. So you could choose this clip, right click, and then go here to clip attributes and go to name. So in this case, you can rename it. So let's just say this one is high voice. And then we'll rename that, okay. And now it's high voice. Then we'll go here, do the same thing, low voice. And then we'll do one more. And then we'll go here. And this one is gonna be weird voice. So by doing this, it's a lot easier for you to see what type of voice changes that you want and also at the same time, if you do happen to bring this into Fairlight, it's also a lot easier because you have it named, as you can see there, okay? So here's the high, low, and weird voice. So that's the first thing you wanna do. Make sure that you go to the areas that you want to make the voice change, and you can go ahead and cut up those clips there. So um, I myself, I went ahead and cut it along with my video, uh, so then they're all in sync. So now that we actually have our clips separated and also named correctly, we can now adjust the voices. Now, I'm gonna show you a number of ways to do this. And so the first way is gonna be the easiest way. So all you have to do is choose the clip that you want. And then up here on your inspector, if you don't have it, make sure you click on here. So then it expands, go to your audio section and you'll notice a part called pitch. So go down here to the pitch area and there's gonna be two things, semitones and scents. So semitones is where the real major adjustment is going to be. So if you want it lower, you'll bring it down. If you want it higher, you bring it up. And then the sense gives you a little bit more control, just basically fine tuning it. So let me show you the differences. So if I just adjusted the sense, let's just say, let's make it really high. And then I play this high pitch energy. It's a little bit higher, but not too much. And let me go ahead and go to the lowest. And then we'll go ahead and play this high pitch energetic. So you could definitely tell the difference there, but it's not as pronounced as we want it to be. So if you want to go back to what it was at the beginning, just go here and now it's back to the beginning. And if we listen to this high pitch, so that's normal, but the semitones is really where all the major difference is going to be. So in this case, we want it higher. I'm going to move it up. So let's see how this sounds. High pitch energetic. So as you can hear, there's definitely a difference. And at the same time, you could also make this a little bit lower and then you could adjust the sense. So if you want it to be slightly higher, 
Play really? this again. High pitch, energetic. So you might want to play around with this. So just in general, this one is really where all the major adjustments are. And then the sense gives you a little bit more fine tuning. So that's the first place that you'd go to actually change your pitch. And now we've done the high voice. And then for the low voice, we do something very similar, except this time we're going to go the opposite way. And let's listen to this first. Maybe. Okay, so let me go ahead and adjust it. Let me go a little bit higher here. Let's see how this sounds. Maybe. And there you go. And you definitely want to play around with this, but let's go ahead and listen to these parts from beginning to end. And then we'll work on the last piece. And then I'm going to show you some other ways in which you can play around with the different voices. So we'll go here. Let's go ahead and listen to this. You want to have a really high pitch, energetic voice. Or maybe. Or finally, maybe just. And that's it. It's really easy to do. So now let's go ahead and go to the weird voice because here you're going to see a bunch of other audio options that are available to you. And at the same time, I'm also going to show you a more detailed version of the whole pitch effect that we just did. For serious YouTubers, check out TubeBuddy, the premier tool news at geekoutdoors.com. Get more done today by checking out the affiliate link in the description area below. So for the actual weird voices, we're going to use some audio effects. So if you go here to your toolbox, if you don't see it, you know, you could click on here and then you'll be able to see it or go up here to effects as well. So now that that's available, go down here to audio effects and go to Fairlight FX. There are a number of different audio effects that you can apply. Okay. So what I highly recommend you do is just try it out, you know, just play around with it. So I'm going to show you a few. So I'm going to try this modulation. we we'll drop it down here on this clip and then you can see all these additional controls. So if I play this now, I just want something, a it doesn't really sound a any different. different a little so let's go ahead and mess with this modulator. Okay. I'm going to increase the levels. Let's see how this sounds. Maybe you just want something a little bit different. Not too much different. Let's go ahead and increase the rate. All right, let's listen to this again. Maybe you just want something a little bit different, a little bit weird. So you might hear an echo. So we'll go a little bit further. And then let's play this again. Maybe, maybe you just want something a little bit different, a little bit weird. Yeah, that sounds weird and cool. And so you could really mess around with all these different, you know, meters and stuff to see what sounds best and weird to you. And at the same time, there's also an option to toggle A and B. Okay. So if you go to B and you could reset things if you want. So if you want to reset the knobs, you could double click on it and it'll go back to the previous levels. Okay. So if you go back to A, it still had your settings there. You go to B. Now you can play around with it. You know, you could play around with different levels, different phases, uh, you know, different shapes of the sound, different rates. And then let's go ahead and try it. Maybe you just want something, a you know, didn't sound any different there. A little bit different, a little And then you could go back to A right here. So those are some things that you could do. And this is available for all the filters. You could do A, B. So that's really great that they allow you to do that. And at the same time, some of them already have some defaults, which is really, really cool. So let's say, for example, I have this Doppler effect. Okay. Let's see how that sounds. Maybe you just want something a little bit different. Nothing much there. All right. Let's go ahead and do this. Wow. Wow. I have no idea what that is. <laughs> let's, let's hear it. Maybe you just want something a little bit. And you could definitely play around with this as well. You can adjust different, a little bit. And we'll adjust it here. Let's see how this sounds. So a lot of fun here. You can have so much fun with these effects. And at the same time, if you wanted to, you could create your own preset. So say, for example, you created a sound that sounds cool. You can use that instead. So that is some ways you could have some different effects. And uh, if you wanted to delete this effect, you could go here to effects and then delete it. So that deletes the audio effects. And then there's another one here. There's Flanger. Okay. Sounds weird, but it has a lot of cool sounds as well. So the reason why I like this one, the default sounds pretty cool. So let's use this big ambient. Let's listen to it real maybe, quick. Maybe you just want something. Okay. That didn't sound too different. Then let's increase the rate on here. 
hopefully maybe you just want something a little that's kind of like the one that i used earlier uh, and also there's a robot voice as well let's see how that maybe sounds you just want something a little bit different a little bit weird we could expand this maybe you just want something a little bit different and there are so many different things that you can do here i just would highly recommend that you play around with this and find something that works well for you that you can have a lot of fun with. So that is how you would create different weird voices that's not the norm. And so hopefully you have as much fun as I did playing around with all these different audio effects. Okay, so on this final part of the video, I'm going to be showing you how you could use a more advanced version of this pitch effect. So we'll go back to this clip, go here, and we're going to reset everything back to normal voice and then you're going to go here to your audio effects and come down here to pitch so we'll go ahead and drag this over a clip and now you're going to see more advanced controls for pitch so we still have our semitones and sense but we also have mid side and output dry and wet and we also have the availability toggle from a and b and this one doesn't have any default but you can add some presets if you like okay so let's go ahead and do what we did before i'm going to go ahead and make this a higher voice then i'm going to adjust the sense right here so let's listen to this high pitch energetic and now you can add this mid and side so let's see if this makes a difference really high pitch and you can turn this on energetic voice and then there's also this dry and wet let's see if this makes a difference so let's listen to this again high pitch energetic so voice. You could probably tell that sounds different. Let's let's listen to this again from the beginning. So we'll go you here. You want to have a really high pitch, energetic voice, or so this just gives you more control over how things sound. And I really really like this, you know, because if you do like to play around with this, you could have so much fun just adjusting all these various audio filters. So that is it on this video on how to change your voice in DaVinci Resolve. If you actually had any other thoughts in this or any other ways in which you do this, be sure to leave that in the comments area below. And if you did want to see more of my DaVinci Resolve tutorials and tips, I do have an entire playlist. I'll leave that in the description area below. So as always, if you did get value out of these videos, be sure to share, like, and subscribe. And if you're a creative geek like me, and you want to get exclusive access to more content that I don't put out here publicly on my YouTube channel, then join my Goal Content Creators Group where you're going to get content like this and more for all the creative geeks out there. And the best part is all of this is free. Simply head over to the link below, check on the page and sign up for my Goal Content Creators Group.